Of this, ready? Uh, today's what date? Today is the 24th February 2015. This beautiful long body poodle, right? Poodle. Uh, it suddenly, suddenly cannot stand up, right? Uh, cannot sit down. Uh. Cannot sit down, but can walk. Mm, he can walk, but cannot sit down. And I never eat, also cannot eat. Uh, okay, this. So for how long already? Today only, right? Today only. Today, okay. So now we have to find out where is the pain. Now early on, I detected the pain here and just not a pain here, but now I check again. So now we put the dog standing to check the spine. You think any fracture or no? No, no, no. I'll just, I'll just show you one more time, okay? So it's like the neck. Now there's some pain here. But uh, this pain is not the... Uh, uh, not the persistent pain, so... There's no shoulder there. Uh, so now here was shouting away there. Because this dog has a high threshold of pain, he can stand pain a lot, yeah. not like some dogs. Uh. So when, when we tried to carry him like this, he was crying just now. Mm. So the pain is uh, related to this spinal area. Nothing to stomach all, huh? No, stomach is okay. He's not vomiting, right? Mm. Then I uh, palpate the abdomen. There's no pain. No, no swelling. Although he's not very happy. Bit. Now, we, we just uh, put the dog down on side, sideways. Uh. So we, we check him sideways. Now, you can see here, that means this part is swollen. Yeah, right? He's been licking it. Uh. He's been licking it. And then there's a big ulcer here. Oh, yeah. And of course, this one is quite painful early on. Uh. He's trying to lick it and relieve the ulcer. How could this could have happened? Uh, because I put it in the dog hotel. Mm, probably fiction. Yeah. Maybe put the cage, uh, maybe the uh, cage infection. Fiction. Uh, fiction. Uh, this after boarding, is it? Hi. After boarding, yeah. yeah. Uh, after boarding, uh, yeah. yeah. I suspect maybe the cage they put is dirty or what? Possible. So, so you can see the dog trying to lick here, there. Eh? Yeah, yeah. So when he tried to lick here and lick here, he might have sprained his uh, back. Because he's going to turn. He's going to turn sideways. Yeah, yeah. Uh. You remember yesterday? So he, he, he might have sprained his muscles. That's why he can still walk. So the best is uh, uh, get a painkiller to relieve the pain, the itch. The best is to neuter him. Uh, I mean, next time. What do you Neuter, I mean, castration. Uh, mm. I mean, the best. Because this one always got uh, friction with the floor. Mm. So there might be a hole there earlier. How long was he bothered? Four days. Four days, huh? yeah. There's a bit of pain here. But this dog has a very strong, strong uh, threshold of pain, so it doesn't complain much. Not like other dogs, so I'll just do the checking the hips. What about the, any application for the answer? Yeah, can I will give you that. No, if you just do the examination, no, there's nothing wrong with mm -hmm. the joints or fracture. See, there's no pain at all. But I'll just check. Okay, the knee is okay. Yeah. And the hip. Flex and extend. Okay, then we turn over this side. This side. And I do the same thing to check the hips and the job, the back leg. And uh, we check just now. There was no pain actually. See, no pain. The hip is here. No pain at all. Okay, so let the dog stand up now. The dog being complaints, he can't stand up. Restoration is what? You move the ball or? Hmm? Yeah. You move the ball? Yeah, I mean the best one. Uh, to prevent all this ulceration. Okay. So now but I do one more time. But normal life. Yeah, very good. Okay, let me just do one more time. Uh. Okay, stand up, huh? Yeah, just relax first. Yeah, it's painful. So I just check one more time just whether any stick this on. There's some pain there. There's some pain here, so. But it's not a serious type. Uh. Okay, so let's see that.